Hey everyone, this is Ascension Empress with your collective new moon solar eclipse slash new year reading. <laughs> um, it is what it is to you. It just take what resonates with you. Y'all, these energies have just been taken over and I'm like trying to get ready, get things in order along with this. I got to prioritize some signs now because they didn't got left out in December, you know, so all of a sudden, I just get this energy over me like, what is going on? I had to look in my little planner and I realized, wait a minute, the new moon is tomorrow. I didn't got so lost with my days. Like the week has been going by so fast. Um, like my Tuesdays are like my Fridays when it comes to the mundane life. But yes, we have the new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn happening overnight um, on the 25th, like the 25th and 26th depending on where you live and y'all this is the time this is the it's the time to show and to understand like did you put in that work are you resting now are you meditating are you secure and comfortable in what you want this is also for this is the year of the four 2020 which is coming y'all and Everybody just wants something solid at this point. Most people, solid ones want something solid. Okay, look, and then you got the Queen of Swords. And a, that, a lot of communication is happening right now. A lot of people are being very Queen of Swords, King of Swords-like, which has been popping out a lot when it comes to their boundaries, their standards, their expectations, what they are aware of as well. Because we have had some heavy, heavy Seven of Swords energy going on in the last... I would say two months at least. Um, some signs that I've done individually have had that for some time now. And I just, you know, I'm happy to see that a lot of people and a lot of different energies are really taking that step to vibrate higher and not entertain that type of energy and repeat cycles and choosing to heat lessons wow so it's time to start the reading definitely look popped out ten of cups i was gonna say choosing to heat those lessons prioritizing your happiness and transmute all that energy like okay <laughs> so excited you have options, and a lot of people are becoming aware of that at this point. Um, you may be contemplating, well, I know many people are contemplating uh, a change in career, a change in how they work, how they come off. You know, we're thinking 10th house energy, but also this is a lot like we had that we had those eclipses back in July, and then we also had those eclipses back in Capricorn season of this year, and whew. <laughs> yeah what have you manifested what were your intentions over time we have the queen of wands ooh, and the queen of cups the death card the knight of pentacles the hermit and the five of cups wow this is you know this is pretty much a summary of what's been going on <laughs> so for a lot of people, when it comes to re relationships, like romantic relationships, we have had a heavy energy of um, people separating, people feeling left out in the cold, people going ghost, uh, which is funny because you have the death card here, which is not really a ghost. But, you know, we're getting all of this vibe, but a lot of that is because a lot of people are going within. A lot of people are realizing that they want something stable, they want something solid. But some of there's different groups of people within those people who want that and then there's those people who put in the work and then there's those people who haven't put in the work and not just spiritually but also you know as a woman are you are you putting on your big girl panties and doing what you need to do while you're you know hoping and wishing and praying for these things or as a man, are you acting like a man or are you acting like a boy? Why are you talking about you want children and all of this? And, you know, let's just be real. <laughs> With this five of pentacles, some people are feeling left out. Um, some people have made a decision to go within and heal themselves. For some people who have been ghosted or felt like they were ignored or just rejected, I'm getting that person got used to being alone. People are getting used to being alone and healing within their own solitude and also may even realize that it wasn't so much rejection, but noticing that some people may be finally 
meeting those people that mirror them. And, you know, many people will say we often like every that happens every day but i mean this on a like past life type thing because the six of cups has been popping out a lot as well and we have the knight of pentacles here so speaking to that earth energy you know really wanted to be stable really wanted to be grounded some of you are taking a closer look at your finances as well you know you may not feel like you're making enough or an look i didn't pick it up the right away so clearly we're we're about to clarify wow you see how that popped out six of cups and the queen of wands again exactly oh, so exciting y'all so exciting and you know they're you know, there has been those videos and those talks of, you know, we got to be more serious about this Capricorn energy and it's not all fine and dandy. And that's true. I'm Sagittarius, y'all. And I have very strong Scorpio energy. So, you know, we just got to talk about it all. We got to talk about it all. Um, This Six of Cups here, <laughs> what we just talked about, Six of Cups forgiveness reconciliation people may be wanting that around this time and we kind of are approaching the mercury retrograde but not really um like the shadow period before it starts so it's just interesting how we're going to go through this energy of earth and then air and then water i believe is when that retrograde takes place again like it did in scorpio and we had it again back when it was i believe in cancer oh i remember when it was in pisces though see that's a shame <laughs> i remember y'all and those who've been following me since day one mm. But I'm getting a lot of people are taking on this Queen of Wands energy right now, especially when it comes to how they look at what they want going forward. Relationships, the bag, you know, family, whatever, you know, that security, that stability, that foundation. And many people are looking at this Queen of Wands, whether you're a man or a woman, it's this fiery energy. This Sagittarius season may be gifting you all who you know aren't Sagittarius <laughs> but with this Queen of Cups it's like you're emotionally balanced at this time you're able to balance that fire and water and that's what we're talking about back to that you know are you transmuting this energy so since we use index we might as well clarify <laughs> these cards let's go ahead clarify with the Chrysalis Tarot deck What messages do you have about the Six of Cups? Oh, okay. Four of Spirals, which I believe, is, yes, is the Four of Wands in the Right Away Tarot deck. So, again, speaking to this home, the family, foundation, security, this Queen of Wands is like, I'm going to go and get it regardless. And it's not in the sense of she going to go and get it or he's going to go and get it by themselves, like five of swords, cutting everybody, you know, not wasting any time type of energy. It's just, you know what you bring to the table and you know, regardless, as long as you have the right boundaries, standards and expectations and you don't let those standards down, then the right, what's for you is going to come, it's going to come to you. So it's like you have this four of spirals in the back of your mind and someone may be wanting this with you with the six, the six of cups here. And it may be somebody. Yeah, because we talked about who wants a home and family. And yeah, but somebody got left out with the five of pentacles. This is interesting. But that's what happens when you, we have eclipse energy. So let me I want to see what this book has to say specifically about the four of spirals in this deck. The mm, solitude, wow, exactly. So we have the five of pentacles, and we had that hermit card that popped down. We talked about going within, and it says the emerging energy of the four spirals suggests it's time for peaceful solitude and introspection. The heralds of opportunity to regather and recharge by changing your perspective. The waxing crescent moon indicates that it's a good time to clean the interior of your harvest home. As the broom loudly suggests, clearly this card says you need to sweep some things away. And I was thinking, as soon as I seen that and I was thinking about that, I'm thinking about a clean up woman as well. It's like this woman had cleaned up and she got her, her she's facing forward. She got everything behind her. She may have forgave some people. She may have reconciled. She may have just 
forgave and not reconciled, left them in the past. You know, you I'm I'm getting the Queen of Wands. I'm forget I'm getting New Year's Eve type of energies like New Year, New Me, or you know, and then you got those people like I'm not gonna change. You know, <sighs> don't get me started. I might have to take a break from social media for the next week or two, but. I'm getting this Queen of Wands in the past with the right away tarot deck and the Queen of Wands going forward is telling me that for those who have made that decision for what it is they want, you have remained the same in that you have. I'm getting seven of wands type energy, strength type energy, really standing true on your convictions and standing up for what you believe in. Mm. And this it also says the four spirals is also about relaxing to enjoy the fruits of your labor and life's great rewards. Visualize yourself observing a new world of possibilities from the upper floor picture window. It's a new season and a fresh challenge is on the horizon. Y'all, and you see that you looking at it like I know. <laughs> I know. Wow, and you see how I like how these be popping out. And look, <laughs> the sorceress, the high priestess, and that's this queen of wands here. That's ooh, this Sagittarius season. Oh, and we have the sun trining Uranus at this time. So, a lot of you may be getting a lot of downloads but that spark that inspiration that's just been in the back of your head for a very long time. But I'm getting some many of you are getting those million dollar ideas like you multi-million sort different sources of income you're ready to put that into your foundation with that capricorn you're ready to crystallize all of that and right now we have the moon in sagittarius moving into capricorn tomorrow afternoon on christmas day and y'all and it's very very beautiful yet grounded energy when it comes to right before this moon the new moon solar eclipse and it be it's the beginning of the Kwanzaa as well so y'all <laughs> i'm gonna pull one clarifier loving how the high priest is just popping out look and the cards are popping out the wheel this is solar eclipse type energy y'all solar eclipse type energy really continue to prioritize you in a healthy, balanced way and peace and blessings. Protect your peace and don't cast too many of your blessings, okay? So I want to thank you all again so much for all your love and your support. Welcome if you are new and thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing. I will see you all again soon. Bye.